Well, we saw those showers earlier today across the Concho Valley kind of moved in from the north and kind of continuing to pass off towards the south. Now the bulk of the rain that did pass through San Angelo has kind of moved well off towards the south in southern Tom Crane County down over towards Crystal Fall. It's kind of looking as those showers continue to track off towards the south and they'll continue to weaken as we go into the overnight hours seen that daytime heating end and so again nothing really sustaining them just some pleasant uh, rainfall not getting any severe or any uh, concerns with these showers some heavy downpours at times but again those lightnings have the lightning strikes have also decreased with it as well this is all part of a big push of moisture coming in from New Mexico and the Texas Panhandle kind of pushing out over the Concho Valley and that'll continue for the next couple of days so we'll see those rain chances going into the rest of this weekend. However, before we got to those rain showers, we were getting up there in the temperatures. We had another broken record for today as well. 107 for our daytime high again. That breaks the record set back in 1969 of 106. So that's two days back to back with broken records. We probably won't get into the record breaking temperatures tomorrow as we will get a little bit cooler with those rains kind of pulling into our area. And we'll see some totals added to that rain total as, again, rain showers continue to move on. Heat advisory, that continues again until Sunday at 7 p.m. We drop the excessive heat warnings, and it only stays off towards our western or eastern counties, rather. And that's because we'll still expect the triple digits getting into the lower 100s, but again, not getting into those upper uh, temperatures that we saw earlier. Cooling off pretty nicely, especially with the areas that got those rain showers. Lower 80s and upper 70s, especially in our southern counties. Still see that some of the areas that stay dry, Big Lake as well as Mertzen, still staying into the lower 90s. So again, it's going to take a little bit longer for them to cool off as we kind of go into the overnight hours. Taking a look, we did get a viewer photo of the uh, crepuscular rays kind of pushing through those clouds. You call those breaks in the clouds as it kind of moved in over San Angelo and across the Concho Valley, but it allowed for a couple of rays to get in. So Lewis sent us in that photo. And even looking at the time lapse, we could see it as well. Kind of plenty of uh, rays kind of breaking through, made for a nice sunset. And then the spotty showers, very hit or miss, even a little lightning strike there on our cactus cams was looking off towards the west. So again, it made for a pretty fantastic uh, display if you were looking outside. And again, some lightning, some nice sunsets, and a good pleasant uh, viewing if you're out and about. 78 right now in downtown San Angelo, and those dew points are up into the 60s, uh, and that's because of that rainfall. Still gusty winds from the south at 18 miles per hour, and that's because, again, those rain showers still moving out to the south. We'll hang on to some rain chances as we continue going into your overnight hours. Isolated showers, lows in the upper 70s, still with those southerly winds at about 10, 15 miles, gusty at times. Tomorrow, we will hit up above 100 once again, and that's because when we get the front that kind of pushes through, it's going to be after the maximum heating. So that's when we'll get to more of the northeasterly and easterly winds. That's going to help us cool down as you start your work week. Rain chances only about 30%. It'll be very similar to what we saw today, kind of spotty showers. Not everybody will be getting some rainfall, but if you are, it'll be very beneficial in nature. So as we kind of time it out, we'll go in. We'll see those clouds begin to fizzle out for tonight. And then going into your Sunday evening, that's when that frontal system kind of pushes in, bringing in those isolated rain chances as well as that cloud coverage. And then Monday, that's what we're watching for our better chance of rain, looking for the possibility of a spin-up low-pressure system out over central Texas. And that's what's going to be able to bring us our rain chances for Monday as well. Better rain chances again on Monday. So again, next couple of days we'll be dealing with rain chances, but again, cooling off, getting back into the upper 90s and a little bit more comfortable for your week ahead.